virtual dais zoom meeting uh, first of all i would like to welcome our chief <laughs> guest <laughs> of honor dr Please meet your uh, mic so that I can uh, continue my words. So first of all, I would like to uh, welcome Chief Guest of Honor, Dr. Preg Bajpayee. She is a professor in uh, National Defense Academy. Sir, 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 excuse me. Uh, she is a well-known poet, artist and editor. And uh, uh, our uh, second guest, uh, honorable guest is Dr. Rupali Sarkar Gaur. Very famous across the world. Everyone knows her. She's a well-known poet, author, editor, and social, ju social justice activist. Ma'am, you are welcome here in the convergence of uh, friendship meet. Our third uh, Thank Chief, you so much. Uh, guest of honor is Miss Pankuri Sina. Miss Pankuri Sina, award winning poet, noted author, well known journalist, and social activist. So, all are cordially welcome here, invited here to share your valuable poems with each other and uh, celebrate the friendship uh, day today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I just have a question. I was, uh, I just stepped away and I heard my name. So um, am I supposed to read now or do what? Because I am there in the second lab, right? Yes, ma'am, exactly, exactly. Don't worry, I will call you. And... Thank you. Thank you. And I'm here. I'm really, and hello, Parvez Bhai. It is wonderful to see you. And okay. I will be uh, back in one minute. So allow me, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are most welcome, ma'am. Sir, you could ask Rupali, ma'am, Dr. Rupali, ma'am, to uh, share her few words. And then you can begin the program with the first lab by, by Jayashri. If personage is uh, there, please we may allow to begin the first lot of the program. Okay, <laughs> I think uh, uh, let me greet you all uh, at the outset, and uh, uh, it's an honor to be here. I mean, um, to you all uh, gracing the occasion on from the. Uh, you are friendship and uh, let's sail the ship uh, let's sail the uh, um, ship of boat and the fair friendship <laughs> i mean okay uh, well uh, i was uh, asked to you know uh, invite uh, dr rupali ma'am uh, to address the you know uh, the gathering and uh, to say a few words about the friendship and something like that and dr rupali ma'am the mic is yours uh, good evening uh, dear friends um, you know, it's such a, you know, thank you so much, uh, Prasanna and, and the team for organizing this. And Dr. Parvez, uh, you know, it's so wonderful to see you here. You are not well, and we were very concerned about your health. That's what friends are there for. And mm -hmm. um, I think, I, I, you know, most of us survive because we have friends. Um, if we can make friends, if we have friends, doctors say we, we will stay well. And uh, friendship, uh, is, the age doesn't matter. Um, you know, your color doesn't matter. Uh, your, you know, community, your religion doesn't matter. Friendship is beyond that. You know, friendship is something really, really divine. And I think today uh, we are going to realize that because we are going to be talking about friendship. And um, uh, my, 
you know, the only little thing that I would like to say, and, and then I'll read a poem that I wrote so that, you know, we don't, I don't take up, uh, you know, just because I'm the guest of honor. You know, I'm, I'm very honored, but I don't want to take up most of your time. I want everybody's mm -hmm. poems to be there. Uh, throughout the pandemic, we have actually survived. Uh, you know, mentally, we have survived because of friendship. And I feel so connected to people all over the world. I cannot understand it, you know, to have, is there a cyber heart? You know, something called a cyber heart, you know, so that we're yeah. all, uh, you know, connecting this way. And so um, welcome today, dear friends. Uh, and Prasanna has done a tremendous thing by connecting. And of course, yeah. all the young girls who, and boys who work for, uh, you know, for fertile brains. I have written a poem specially for today. You know, and uh, this is uh, uh, the story of Krishna and Sudama. This is from our, uh, you know, our stories, our cultural stories, celebrate friendship in a very big way. And this is one of the very important stories. So I put it into a kind of poem. It's called the story of Krishna and Sudama. My dear friends, this is an ancient Indian story. When the past was hoary, it is a tale of two dear friends, two Mitras. Mitras means friends. One named Krishna, the other Sudama. One was a king of Dwaraka and the other a poor temple priest. As children, they were Guru Mitras. Guru Mitras are people who study from the same teacher. Guru Mitras, learning ethics and wisdom from the same Gurukul, from the same great teacher. Friendship is beyond blood. It is a story of true love, where all feelings merge, and of pure, unselfish love, there is a heartfelt surge. To the palace of King Krishna went the poor Sudama with a small cloth pouch of puffed rice. Ashamed of his paltry gift, he hid it from his friend's side, thinking mm. it was not right. Krishna was a king. He should gift him a ring made of purest gold. They cannot now be friends like of old, but the all-seeing, all-loving Krishna snatched the pouch and began to munch and rejoice. Puffed rice was Krishna's favorite childhood choice. Seeing this, Sudama begged forgiveness with a choked voice. His eyes soaked in tears he put aside his fears and embraced his friend Krishna. Never again would he doubt a true friend's love. Peace perched on him like a dove. Then Krishna spoke, Sudama, my dearest friend, friendship transcends all barriers, all doubts, all carnal desires. It is only the visible form of the divine. It is the only visible form of the divine. You, my dear friends, this is the story of Krishna and Sudama. Sudama and Krishna, friends immortal, whose legend of friendship shows us a glimpse of God. So I think when we, when we make friends, when we love our friends, that is where we see God. You know, we don't have to look for God, you know, in the sky. He's there just beside us in the form of our dear friends. Thank you so much. And, um, uh, you know, Parvez Bhai, you know, I welcome you here also because, uh, you know, you have been so special, um, you know, giving us so many, uh, you know, <laughs> you're so learned. And, uh, you know, a learned friend is the best friend you can have. Thank you so much. So you can go ahead with thank, the other thank poems you, now. Mm. Such a beautiful poem, ma'am. Mm. Thank you so much. So, there has been a tradition of friendship everywhere and there are uh, lots of uh, legends also who have uh, uh, carried on the uh, relationship of a uh, friend with dexterity and love. So, now, uh, if I am allowed... I would also like to uh, share my poem on a French friendship day. Persona sir is there. 
Okay, it's a small poem. So I'd like to read out here. The title of my poem is A Friend Indeed. A fair weather friend never turn up to help you when you are in need. Only one or two will come to you when you whom you say, I love you, my dear, because you are my friends indeed. You cannot choose a sibling. Siblings are your kith and kin. However, you can choose a friend who will always come to come to defend. Whenever you intensively crave, he will follow you all around from cradle to grave. Whenever you will fall in anxiety, he will make you feel brave. A true friend never cheat. A true friend never leave you alone. He will appear to hug you whenever you will face defeat. Thank you so much. Now, my poem is over. Uh, so, Parsana sir, please uh, take up the further. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for you know coming up and you know you know addressing the gathering and all and you know. Yes, as you know, I am not well now. Having the you know the health issues, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not at the show. Your order, I have to be appear here, attend the program. So I come here. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. And now I I will ask Jay Jay Shri Tri Jay Shri Didi to you know carry the show. Jai Shri. Thanks. Yeah, yes, um, Prasanna. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, at the outset, uh, happy friendship day to one and all. Uh, friendship is the golden thread which bonds many hearts together. Uh, the first poet that I have here is uh, poet Alexandra Sarapaulov. Hello. Um, this is Flying Twelve from the Flying series. Can you please tell me that you can see the graphics going by? Yes, yes, it's uh, Elizabeth. Thank you. Flying Twelve. If you are looking for the supreme resurrection of a passion, try finding it in a vision's flare. Volcanoes lava erupting from Earth's womb. Battle cry, heroic exodus. Breaking all boundaries, achieving the impossible. Invisible and visible entities rise above life and death. Uh, so shall I stop because there's mm -hmm. people talking? Okay. Uh, is, uh -huh. okay. Alexandra, can kindly unmute your mic. I, I am unmuted, aren't I? Okay, now? Can, you, can you hear me now? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. go ahead. Okay. If you are looking for the supreme resurrection of a passion, try finding it in a vision's flare. Volcanoes lava erupting from Earth's womb. Battle cry, heroic exodus. Breaking all boundaries, achieving the impossible. Invisible and visible entities striving to rise above life and death, above narrow values, widening narrow paradises, 
wider and wider along the protean journey. Monad, dyad, antithesis, and new synthesis. From each center expanding and fulfilling discovery and power. If you are looking for the finest quality of a creation, try finding it in a divine spark. Immortality's rays enlightening mortals' minds. Etheric astric bodies everlasting vitality. Outgrowing every ugliness guided by beauty. Thoughts, words, arts giving birth to glorious civilizations. Challenging horizons, freeing from disillusions. Freer and freer along the expansion of Genesis. Logic, principles, discipline and equals. Mm -hmm. Wisdom constructing justice, wholeness and completion. If you are looking for the sweet manifestation of a miracle, try finding it in the human heart flame. Vibrations as rhymes, synchronizing with the universe's euphony. Endless cycles of sorrow and joy. Hope's momentum waning and flaxing. Waterfalls of emotions plunging down the steep cliffs of our existence. Light brightening through darkness, brighter and brighter along our sacred friendships. Seasons, leaves, flowers and patterns, warding off evil, regenerating, harmonizing, strength and immunity. If you are looking for the archetype of a deity, try finding it in the human soul flame. Earth's devotion endlessly rotating, sun's source. The great absolute energy, propeller of all life, whirlpooling through humans and stars. Seas of sunlight uniting with skies of fire. Stellar symbols heightening cosmic chants. Higher and higher along the mystic path. Water, earth, air, fire, and ideas. Worlds and heavens dividing and uniting in divine proportions. If you are looking for the magical journey of a flight, try finding it in an inner euphoria. Mystical self-revelations taking us up to Empyrean worlds. Thank you. Yes, that was beautiful one, Alexandra. Thank you. Beautiful, very spiritual. Thank you. Nice work. I now call upon Dr. Manisha Singh. Dr. Manisha Singh, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Happy Friendship Day to everyone. And as the topic is, I have also written specially for this occasion only. Here is the poem. It is titled Friends. Friends are the unique gift of God. Once not a friend, if he only lords. A friend is the one who plays his role. He always helps to meet his goal. If you have a friend in whom you confide, your success, happiness is your pride. You surely are bestowed with prize. If you have a friend with you beside, no moment to waste or be upset. No worry, grief, tension or stress. Gear up, get up, cheer up. I am with you. Such magical words changes our hue. The childhood friends will last till end. If you have a friend, you comprehend. Friendship is the bond that leads you on when everyone has shunned and gone. Friends are the brightest part of our lives. True friendship 
always energized. Thank you. Nice lines, Dr. Manisha Singh. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely poem. I now call upon Mr. Prasanna Bhatta. Mr. Prasanna Bhatta. Are you there? No, the next. You can okay. proceed. Uh, next on the list is uh, uh, Mr. Renukuntla Murli. Sir, I'm please. Friend. You could proceed, Devi. He's there, you isn't could... it? No, no, you, you could proceed. He, I had seen he was there. I think he went back. No. Okay. <laughs> Next is Dr. Janata Ramanathan. Dr. Janata Ramanathan. Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, I'm here. The stage is all yours. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Prasanaji and the others for the team for the invite. And happy friendship day to all my dear quiet friends. Um, this is the poem I have written um, for this uh, best. And to you, my poem, the choicest persona, chosen with much attributes, God sent gift. For me, you are the confidente of my heart. You could sense my moods. You know why my heart bleeds, or else why it clings on to ecstasy. You shoulder me when I wither, gather my mind when it wanders. Sweet notes of love, love tuned from your heart, sweetened my forlorn mind. Oh, lovely girl, I hope you much for what you are. You are a soothing soul. You rendered peace and promise to me. Oh, my pretty Paul, though not siblings, you, your entry into my world marked the honeyed hours of my life, my human diary, and my other half. An oasis for the weary traveler. You speak right, please. You are right. That does it mean. Words can never fulfill what you are to me, and efforts can never tell you how I place you. Yet, my brittle heart speaks of how much I owe you, my dear. You are indeed a bone, my bone with lots of love. You mean everything to me. Nobody can replace the beautiful bond we share as long as we live in each other's hearts. Thank you. Lovely poem, Dr. Janata. Thank you, ma'am. That's Thank a you. nice one. Thank Next. you. I now call upon Dr. Tangirla Srilata. Are you there, Dr. Tangirla Srilata? And at the outset, let me wish you all a happy friendship day. And today I'm going to recite a poem titled True Friends. And in my opinion, true friends are those, the soldiers who have been guarding us in spite of all calamities. So keeping in view the forthcoming Independence Day, I'm dedicating this poem to our soldiers. The poem goes like this. Wake up and say good morning. They get up and observe morning. We pray to God to fulfill our many wishes. They protect us from the neighboring witches. We relish lip smacking, sizzling breakfast. They finish the day's shift after a march past. 
I'm sorry. We run to the workplace to compete and earn. They never turn their head to impede the foe and burn. We enjoy the appetizing meal with our colleagues. They forfeit all joy to repel the league's intrigues. We break the day's fatigue with a scorching cough tea. They collapse the enemy's regime for the nation's glee. We reach, out, we reach our kinfolk and shed the tiring cascade. They focus the vigilant eye on brigade's blockade. We fall asleep and wander in the land of sweet dreams. They sacrifice their slumber in the flurry blizzard creams. We fire the festive crackers, symbolic of driving evil. They fire the war rockets in order to drive the devil. We cut human chains and stoop to selfish separation. They form human chains and stop the burglar's intrusion. While we live an egoistic to sly, they live in duty to lie. We live and survive only for our dear kith and kin. They live and survive for the nation and the people within. They are our heroic soldiers, our true friends. To them we stand up and salute till our life ends. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Thank you, Thank you very much. Am I audible? You are audible, Didi. Huh. Because I get muted at times. Kamar Sultana Sheikh. She's there? Uh, yes, Didi. Yes, she is. You could. Uh, Take over, poet. Ma'am, kindly turn on your mic. Kamar Sultana. Uh, I think it is Kamar. I think I'm searching. Kamar Sultana. She's here with us and uh, I think. Uh, Okay, good. Proceed. On. Shall I go to the next one? Okay. Hey, uh, but uh, I can see in the members this thing here. I can see her name. Yeah, but she's not responding, so I think. Okay. Yes. Next on the list is Manju Satish. Kamar Kamar is there responding. So, ma'am, kindly reset your. I'm name. there. I'm there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I told you now the link was very unstable. Okay, uh, my poem is dedicated to animals. I consider them uh, our best friends. So Ma'am, my poem uh, is can you uh, switch on the video? Okay, sorry. Huh. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, okay, no. my poem is titled Uncle. It's, he sure does not resemble any of us. Is he really from our family? I asked my mother, as she addressed a black raven as my uncle. He watched too noisy and restless, I noted. And yet I was scolded for making noise. Were uncles exempt from scoldings? My mother fed me a few mouthfuls from the plate of food. The next was placed before uncle. He let out a cacophony of cause, bringing many of his kind to our balcony. Shall we now eat quietly inside? My mother queried. Placing the plate before the crowd of crows, crows, we went inside. If at times I feel lonely, all I have to do is invite one uncle. And he makes sure there is no lack of friends or family. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem. Didi, yeah? Go ahead. Yeah. 
yeah okay thank you for your poem uh, next on the list is uh, mrs manju satish hello everybody so here's my poem yeah please uh, me... a bit loud ha huh. yeah is it okay now i don't know at least for me it's not audible can you hear me now yes ma'am huh. go ahead go ahead yeah thank you the magnificent sky at times becomes even more beautiful when the atmosphere contains more aerosols or particles that scatter the sunlight more adding to color and splendor to the sky so is it in life some people step into your life making life even more beautiful making life even more meaningful they smile along when you are in joy they rush to your support when you are in tears they push you through when you are down in spirits they allay your fears when you feel helpless and you for sure know that they are more than just another person in your life you feel you have found your soul living outside of you you name them friends and your bond with them friendship happy friendship day. thank you thank you that was a beautiful recitation thank you i now call upon mr santosh kumar pokarel santosh kumar pokarel is not there yes dev yes dev just wait for ever okay okay so am am i audible am i audible yes. now am i audible yes, am i audible yes sir we are you are audible okay, okay okay namaste and greetings to all of you good friends good souls i greet you from nepal i am santosh kumar pokhrel so i am thankful to the organizers of this event and especially to prashanna uh, who very much remembers about me this distant poet so i would like to congratulate uh, and tender my best wishes to all of you on the occasion of this international friendship day let our friendship boost up and our poetic endeavors to go ahead to unite the good souls all over the world because poetic senses and poetic feelings are those feelings which can contribute to the world peace especially in this critical situation across the globe so as i was asked to recite my poem i just have written a poem that i would be reciting for you all my friends the title of my poem is friends friends are ultimately friends several come across and many leave in the middle way you have nothing of this to say friends are ultimately friends several come across and many leave in the middle way you have nothing of this to say living is also a lie living is also a lie you shall with or without some survive life goes anyway any rate life goes anyway any rate or with myriad of friends how could on accommodate life goes anyway any rate or with myriad of friends how could on accommodate acquittal by some also does console acquittal by some also does console as you find yourself in others soul and turn happy again your good friends 
in your memories always remain. Your good friends in your memories always remain. My life, my poems thus prolong. I often do sing their song. I often do sing their song. Thank you. Thank you very much for the kind attention. Thank you. That was a wonderful one. Last on my list is now Ms. Is Mildred Park. Hello. <laughs> Can Hello. you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Uh, good evening, good morning, in whatever time zone. Happy friendship in mind. This is entitled Simply Friendship. Okay, of all the known human relationships, none is more convenient than friendship. Freely given, freely received, yet your heart you cannot retrieve. Much respect, much admiration. Therefore, it gives a lot of inspiration. Mutual affection, a case of a little adoration. But there must also be love shared in unison. However, soon you might encounter challenges. You cannot prevent some rough edges. Friendship must prove to have a strong foundation to thrive and grow and to deeply hold on. So it's a matter of mutual respect and honor, a care not to hurt each other or each one another. Friendship must elevate the morals and the values, not to mention the hurdle sacrifices we have to endure. There, a simple uh, poem about friendship. Thank you very much for the time given to me. Thank you very much, dear friends. Thank you. I'd love to see you again. Good night. It's a wonderful Thank poem you. and all the qualities of a friend. Yeah. You have listed the qualities of friendship. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Uh, I love right. you. <laughs> That's what you have mentioned all the qualities needed for a friend. I now hand over to Shilpa. Shilpa, please take over the mic. Well, <laughs> the, before, uh, before you start third draft, uh, no. am I not to also read? Ma'am, 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 just wait. Now, I'll let happened? me introduce you. <laughs> no, second lap is my turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you just have finished the uh, uh, first lap, and thank you, the uh, Jayashree Didi, for handling uh, first lap uh, so beautifully. And I, I would like to thank my um, Alexandra, uh, Sileta, ma'am, and uh, Mildred, Santoshar, and uh, Kamarji, Satush, Santoshi, Satishji, and everyone, Mildred, and um, uh, for presenting your beautiful poems. You know, Tangirala, uh, ma'am, is yes, something in different time. In, but anyways, uh, <laughs> let me take the pleasure of uh, inviting. Uh, uh, you know, my she calls me, takes me as brother. You know, and it's such a honor for me uh, to be, <laughs> you know, addressing uh, myself. As, I mean, my. Uh, others as a brother and uh, and uh, she's well known poet and uh, everyone knows her and she uh, regularly conducts you know uh, meetings support without borders uh, as a grave and name and uh, and she's a uh, Susanna dear Susanna and she talks through you know Kisai um, Kohinoor she is Pankuri Sinyo for you all she's a poet she is a journalist poet well known author and the bilingual poetess and uh, she, she published uh, you know, several books 
and uh, she honored with you know, international prizes like Girisa Kumar Mathur Award, Chitra Kumar Shailas Mathiani Award, and uh, Sima Puri Times Rajiv Gandhi Excellence Award in 2013, and uh, Pratap Lippi Award for Poetry in 2018, Madhura Prasad Gunjan Award for Second Poetry Collection, Kumutiku Award, oh, so many of, you know, uh, Cobra God at Mercy, and she has been uh, you know, uh, been uh, rounding the globe, and, and she is visit, She visited, uh, you know, recently on to you know Romania and uh, uh, you know Greece, uh, giving the lectures of you know poetry and Indian culture, and she's translated uh, poems in Hindi. She's very well, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, established uh, other writer. She is. Uh, Pankuri Sina, she's my such a privilege introducing her, her and uh, inviting her to address upon the address the event. And uh, uh, now I would call upon Pankuri, ma'am, uh, to address uh, to say a few words and uh, to address the event. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, my dear uh, Prasanna ji. Yes, I call you as a brother because I think we share that bond throughout the way we work and we correspond and we interact and yes today is friendship day so you're also a great friend and thank you for that and happy friendship day to all my friends here all dear esteemed poets from across the world i can see richard and my friend isaac and bali ma'am and so many others are here and we've been listening to wonderful poems and i think that you know, there's a long line of poets to read. So I think that there's, you know, for me to talk on friendship, uh, the best way to do it is to read my poem, but I would just say that friendship is really a gift. Uh, I think it was somebody who was saying that uh, sometimes when all doors are shut, uh, friends are there for you. And uh, so many poems celebrating friendship, which makes me feel very happy and blessed, Dashwood. And may our friendships, you know, boom and last forever and may we achieve rocks together. And I think that on that note, I am going to read my poem. So that first relationship we tell our parents about, feel proud talking about, where we still feel safe keeping some secrets that relationship might change faces. And we all hope Rose pink in numbers. Is one of the most beautiful ones we negotiate, nurture, learn from, lean on, and support across borders, religions, and sect, languages and dialects, faith and beliefs, likes and tastes. Yes, real friendship must endure disagreements. Over lifestyles or even love and yes, real friendships must never intrude, must never impose, must never expose a friend. Not a set of rules, not a set of rules, but we need some to comprehend what makes friendships strong. What can weaken it? After all, like love, we like to boast of old friendships as good as new. It's more aware, more comprehending. Friends make this world a beautiful place to share our joys and sorrows, pains and pleasures, bring new challenges, introduce new ideas, and of course, new friends. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. Ma'am, it would be great if you could say a few words. In, uh, I mean, uh... Um, friendship? Yes, or uh, whatever you feel like, you know, about the gathering or about, you know. Yeah, but I already did, you know, friendship, I think, is a, is a big gift. I mean, it's, it's, it's something very precious. We all want to make friends. And it's not just because a friend in need is a friend indeed, but because we want to share our, you know, our joys, our sorrows. Man is a social creature. I mean, that's a sexy saying, right? <laughs> a human being is a social creature. And uh, I think that friendship that grows up across gender, friendship that um, can endure tests are very um, 
strong and nice and you know um, I think that you all have such friends and, and today is a day to celebrate them so also sending uh, you know my thanks to all the friends who are probably not here but also big greetings to all the friends that I've seen after a long time and what a beautiful day to get together and talk about friendship think about friendship and I think friendship can do wonders you know like I said, um, I, I believe that friendship makes this world more secular, more liberal. If people could be friends, I mean, if people who are uh, having misunderstandings, because there are, I mean, uh, you know, a picture says a thousand words, but it doesn't always exactly say what words can, can, you know, pictures are very beautiful. I love pictures, but, you know, pictures have to be explained. What I'm trying to say is that direct talk and um, negotiations between people who are having misunderstandings or people who are having political disagreements. Somebody read, read a poem on soldiers, what their friendship day would be like, and probably you know, they, would, they should be celebrating it with their enemy. They are standing in front, you know, and uh, I think this day can be used to maybe negotiate some peace treaties, and I hope that. Such messages can also reach Mr. Putin. Our all our efforts would be, you know, uh, sort of really rewarded if the war stops, be it in Ukraine or be it the constant um, fights in Israel or wherever it is happening in all the contested zones. So, um, you know, I wish that friendship could bring some big changes to the way, you know, uh, the world is. Being divided and ruled and forced into conflicts. So I, I, I pray for that. I think that is going. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for such a beautiful speech and uh, your poem as well. Now, thank you for missing the occasion and thank you. Thanks for honoring and thanks for being the guest of honor. And now we would like to move on. And now we I have uh, 11 number. She's a well-known uh, gynecologist. She is, her name is Dr. Padmini Prasad. Padmini Prasad. Ma'am, kindly unmute your mic. Madhu iPad. Yeah, Madhu's iPad. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. You are perfectly audible okay. and visible too. Okay. Happy Friendship Day, everybody. And uh, special thanks to Mr. Prasannaji for the invite. Uh, I think this is a great uh, um, I mean, uh, uh, opportunity to bond with everyone on this Friendship Day. So my poem is actually about a childhood friend with whom I have a great bonding. But we had a bitter fight. And... Uh, she didn't think twice before approaching me and rebuilding the rapport. So I'm dedicating the poem to her. The first time my eyes set on you, a friend for life I gained I knew, for our personalities were mirror images and depths of your mind I could gauge. Our bond developed like the milestones of a newborn strengthening its bones. As the elusive time passed by, I could feel the warmth underpinning the tide. The golden shackles binding us was prone to sharp darts nevertheless. Fraying followed one tragic episode on flying tempers our friendship rode. Into our hearts the hurt penetrated deep, constraining us to lose our sleep. Facing each other was an ordeal. Asking for forgiveness became menial. Several deriding days and nights continued. I fell in depths of despair and repented, and I began to feel useless and low, unaware of how to rebuild the rapport. Then your sterling self you showed. You would be my friend forever, you vowed. You displayed magnanimity and grit. You apologized even when you were right. Pal, you stood by friendship staunchly, teaching me an unforgettable lesson eventually. Wow, that's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem. Now I would like to call upon dear Dr. V.K.V. Prasad. Yeah. 
sir kindly unmute your mic and turn on yeah. your video am i audible yes sir yes perfect one sec good evening or good morning to you all fellow poets wherever you are i wish you all a very happy friendship day i thank mr prasanna our friendly host for giving me this chance my poem describes friendship and i ca i consider myself very lucky to have so many friends and making more of them now so here is my poem a wondrous and astounding relationship a shimmering bond that binds us together generating a feeling of kinship a lovable and affectionate tether could be strong as an iron chain could be delicate as a light feather makes you imbibe sorrow and pain and galvanize you to protect the other an intent to develop our roots an alliance for a healthy growth from seedings to sprouting shoots in this universe to travel forth but such a twinning of multiple hearts is also vulnerable and may be frayed if subjected to harsh and drifting darts and needs to be preserved and not betrayed for world is made of milling multitude symbiosis is the quintessence of life individuals cannot exist in solitude friendship nurtures and eliminates strife any act though simple and straight cannot be done in isolation bonding is mandatory and a right as friendship for it is boon of creation thank you very much for your patient hearing indeed sir indeed sir thank you thank you for your beautiful poem that's a bit smashes uh filled now i would like to call upon dr ranjana sharan sinha dr ranjana sharan ma'am kindly turn on your uh, yeah mic as well hello am i audible yes ma'am yes ma'am but uh, i am not visible no yes yes ma'am uh, so i can't do anything about it what to do i am unable to find out on my mobile you know should i okay. continue yeah continue ma'am continue but uh, i am able to switch on my video you know hello my dear friends a uh, very very happy friendship day to you all uh i am very much thankful to prasanna uh for giving me the opportunity i am going to share a poem titled alphabets alphabets the title of my poem is alphabets and it's such a great flood of friends so many amounting to thousands facebook whatsapp and other contacts i look for some precious alphabets and place them in the vast volume hemming and hawing in a big bowl true friends are hard, are the greatest blessings friendship is all about sincerely caring being grown up old or unyoung doesn't mean cessation of the song friendship with mutual trust admiration without disgust adds charm and happiness to life at times which is fraught with strife 
on life's road in years advanced, with experience quite enhanced. The golden time with friends I shared. Those days, how I loved and severed. The association with some angels, those memories of togetherness, like beautiful dainty peach blossoms in pink profusion on tree awesome. In my sunlit courtyard blossoming during a vibrant, fascinating spring, I remember all my childhood friends and sharing with them the peaches. Once again, they come quite close, I, in the fresh and lovely peach-like way. Lo and behold, I go into the orbit on a crescent rainbow mist, but the joy and dream break like egg as I think about fair weather friends. Was this people in tough times, cold stones full of slippery slimes. So friendship is a big, big thing in life. And it would be no exaggeration if we say that friendship sustains the world. Once again, happy Friendship Day. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for presenting your beautiful you know, poem now. Yeah. <laughs> So I would like to call my brother from Australia, he is Mick Meza. Mick. Mick, kindly unmute your mic. And Mick has gone, it seems. Uh, Mick, uh, is there it is, but then, okay, I, I would like to proceed now. I would like to call upon Dr. Basudev Pals. Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. As has been directed, instructed by our precious Prasannaji, I am straight away on my poem. 30th July has been declared an International Friendship Day. The thematic concern is sharing the human spirit through friendship. I am trying to do that. Friendship. Is cosmocracy possible in Indian polity? This has been the theater of the absurd. And dainty is possible, given the other client. Friendship for no borrowed transaction. Howling could be high pitched, but no yield. Serenity sensitizes the spirit of camaraderie. Profitful dialogue needs profitless bonumi. The human spirit infuses in the youth the portion. Today, the social setup has been going awry. With it, the mindset of mankind hates to scar. The age needs patience and tolerance within and without. The pally blood boils up. The Buddhist things, the flutter of cloth brings. The message of peace and meditation in all. No muddy, moan, mooing, but sincerity in the act. The global family dwells under a central umbrella. Namaskar. Thank you. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem. Now I would like to call upon Isaac Cohen. Isaac Cohen. Isaac Cohen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Kumar, and thank you, all my friends in the world. 
Uh, I noticed that uh, the day is uh, more running uh, day for the Jews, but I hope it will be changed to uh, either coin. My shy friend. I close my eyes, she steals into my soul. She throws lyric onto the space of butterflies. I want to thank her, but she doesn't like formalities. She will return tomorrow. Thank you, Ida Cohen, Israel. Thank you, Kuma. As always, short and sweet from <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Mick is there with us, but I, I would, uh, okay, Mick has, is, is facing some tech issues. Now, I would uh, go with, uh, Lantern Carrier is a spiritual guru. Uh, Lantern Carrier, Mike is all yours. Thank you. I just had to unmute. Friendships. The blue moon and shooting stars all merge in symmetry as astronomers converge their loving gaze as one enamored of this illustrious vista. Amidst the pageantry of outstanding splendor, Andromeda, the nebulae, Orion, the lapis lazuli of the perennial heavens, caresses their souls with breathtaking charms and resplendent wonder. A translucent beam shimmers in indigo colors as the loot of silence thrills their spirit with its charm. Within this symphony and magical setting, minstrels enter, singing I love yous to my heart, their melodious arias, thrilling my core to the zenith of enduring love. Friendships, it's like this harmonious blend of panoramic grandeur, where the sapphire moon kisses the twinkle of stars in sweet affinity, a kaleidoscope of heavenly dick emerge as angels lend their voices whispering praises to perennial love, Lantern Carrier. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's Lantern for you all. Always, uh, you know, takes you to the spiritual realm. Thank you for presenting your beautiful friend, poem, Thank sir. you, thank you. Shukriya. Well, um, the honor to the show and thank you. Now I would like to call upon uh, David Leo Cirosis in the place of Mick David. Thank you so much, Prasanna. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I hope to share with you a poem that I, uh, that came out in the Bombay Review. Still. The dead can do it. From them I learn to be still and quiet. Still, my thoughts are loud. Still, I murmur in images. Still, there are minuscule movements I can't control when I sit still. Gentle tremble of hands, eyes, lips, and the mind's blizzard of pointed letters. In a knot, white forgotten full lotus pose ritual, I begin to fill my body with an expanding soul steeped in the spirit of the whole universe's blue lotus. One turning. Night unfolds the contours of her charcoal velvet blanket, and I sense my red magnetic spirit drawn toward you more than beforehand. Another movement I cannot control. My emptied hands reach for the circle of light you wear around your dancer's figure across the border river. 
echoes of your evening teaching, lightning on my inner night horizon. Electric charges surge through your form, flicker in your liberated laughter and gentle maple sugar tones to flash truth before my heart's eye. In the beginning was the word, and the word is with you still. Thank you so much. That's splendid, brother. That's splendid. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for presenting your poem. Now I will, uh, uh, Nick is very much live now, so I would like to call uh, my darling brother, Nick Meza from Australia. Good evening, Nick. all. Thank you, Puma. Good evening, all. Happy Friendship Day around oh hello all i don't it might not be evening to all it's past oh it's nearly midnight here anyway there it comes part a in the courtyard the night was framed scorpio and southern cross moved into view charged cups toasted the fallen artists a lament on the cold autumn breeze we talked of modern poets and one's past reflecting on friendships entwined by art and the thread that spins a tapestry that fruits at our heart and the black buds of May that tear us up. Clear night, we celebrate the number of friends gone. B, what, B, one. On the weekend, we discussed dogma, held our own until the eyes crack, the candle light weaves to the beat of drums, melting friendship as the wax flows. Two, couple out walking their dog, who is walking who, as the animal comes nearer, we break into conversation. Three, at a restaurant having dinner and you can hear the chef speak. Friends sitting around are quiet until I ask for the meaning of life. In my street, we keep to ourselves, we leave for work at the same time. We tread the same roads. Familiar faces exchange greetings. At a bar having a beer, I buy a drink for a stranger. We talk about the weather. Then we walk out separately. The ice broke, crashed and smashed, water gushing from the glacier, icebergs from, from this event, floating to their own destination. Seven. Oh, sorry, I forgot the numbers. If we had a greeting welcome song, we would not need to break the ice, just as children have no inhibitions asking other kids if they want to play. Oh. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Thank you for uh, reading. Uh, sir, you need to wait for a while, and uh, we have called you, and uh, you need to wait for a while. So. Now Sorry, I would like to call upon Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik ma'am. Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik ma'am. Happy, happy Friendship Day to you all. I extend my warm welcome to each and every member of this Zoom. Myself, Dr. Gangalakshmi Patnaik from Odisha, feel exceedingly proud to recite a poem penned by me. The title of the poem is Friendship. The title of the poem is Friendship. A true friend is he who more than one in a million, one in zillion. A true friend is he who more than one in a million, one in zillion, who hides within him your cries, your green grammar of grief and pitiless pain, who hides within him your cries, your green grammar of grief and pitiless pain, very often ties friendship bands, gives presentation of roses, lotus flowers, share with maple leaves, very often ties friendship bands, gives presentation of roses, lotus flowers, 
share with maple leaves to protect friendship from evil eyes jealous intentions of those to cheer up sad times to protect friendship from evil eyes jealous intentions of those to cheer up sad times when i am wearing re face frown i feel all else is false except the friendship gifts when i am wearing re face frown i feel all else is false except the friendship gifts friendship taught me how to master green grammar of grief to avoid words winding worries friendship taught me how to master green grammar of grief to avoid words winding worries a friend in need is a friend in deed within you knows how to decorate ornament a friend in need is a friend in deed within you knows how to decorate ornament your your heart with magic spell enchantment bewitching captivating extra added delight and contentment your heart with magic spell enchantment bewitching captivating extra added delight and contentment i am convinced that true friend is rainbow in cloud waits with smile to begin dawn i am convinced that true friend is rainbow in cloud waits with smile to begin dawn much before crows could quicken our blood much before the sun could brighten morn much before crows could quicken our blood much before the sun could brighten morn thank you for sharing your love of flowers and i hope to see you again at the recitation now my recitation is over thank you all Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem. Now, I think I could, uh, I would like to call upon Unmesh Mohit Kar sir. Uh, Unmesh ji, uh, since uh, is be, I mean, is has is to present himself for the other meeting. So, I would like to call Unmesh Mohit Kar sir. Unmesh ji. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Prasanna. Okay, here we go. Uh, i will recite few very very short poems uh, sprawling thoughts sprawling thoughts hay wire live wire cross wire seas fire inspire always entangling surrounding like barbed wire always entangling surrounding like barbed wire that was the first one uh, there is one more intersecting intervening interjecting interfering intermingling interrupting thoughts dancing naked causing havoc burning chaos burning chaos and i will end up with this dreams very short one morning has come again gone is the dream here comes reality's regime truth has killed so many dreams dreams end but reality's nightmare doesn't care it stays with you till you fight and dare dreams can be real if you really care don't just fight for a dream fight for the right to dream fight for the right to dream thank you thank you very much <laughs> that's unmesh ji for uh, for you all Uh, always lively <laughs> always you know <laughs> driving in <engine>. love my <laughs> girl always for mercy thank you for honoring the girl, you know uh, the event thank you thank you you have the other event for singapore in and all the best for you and thank you thank, thank you, you for thank you here. oh yeah thank you. thank you thank you now i would like to call upon dr syamo prasad patnaik Good evening, sir. 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 Good evening, True friendship is made in heaven. 
bosom friends never leave each other's hands friendship is most wonderful relationship ever found it's supreme amongst all relations true friendship is based on mutual trust affection dignity confidence and sacrifice friendship is true in which one sacrifices love for other one's happiness real friend holds hand in every circumstance be it sorrows or pleasures true friendship always remain intact both in tragedy and happiness their love caring and sharing are not related to any terms and conditions friendship is most sacred wonderful and pure relationship of the entire universe selfless friends never claim anything for service intimate friends love is always precious and that is the end of my poem thank you thank you sir thank you for presenting your beautiful poem uh, thank you once again thank you uh, moving on uh, i think we have finished our two labs and uh, now it's time for the third lab and before uh, beginning the third lab uh, i would like to take the honor of uh, you know <laughs> inviting uh, the th chief guest of honor i would say so ch chief guest of honor and uh, ji dear brother i can i just i just want to say something before you uh, before you finish the second lab one one thank you again and two uh, i just love this uh, frame that you are using a radio i just saw it later so it's wonderful and thank you again that was on most okay. eagerly looking forward to listening to uh pragya <laughs> uh, thank you thank you uh, thank you and uh, uh, she shares uh, she the forces with, uh, with us as she forces with us uh, i think yeah it is visible <laughs> and hope you hopefully you're all you know catching up you know uh, this visible and uh, uh, as a brahman you know this emb embodiment of brahman <laughs> i would say <laughs> and she considered herself as you know proud mother uh, writer editor what not and she's a government uh, officer Uh, she is an um, you know the professor at uh, National Defence Academy, Karakwasla. She is an editor and is a I mean um, editor uh, uh, of you know uh, two books, uh, e magazines, and uh, you know the Brahman and uh, the, the the book which I showed you right now. And I had the pleasure of you know honor of you know you know sharing my poem in that too. And I think uh, that's a great thing. I mean and. Uh, she has a three anthologies celebrating the life of armed forces you know that is the thing that's a great thing and uh, and she's on one uh, she's on the editorial board of uh, brahman the voice of cosmos an international e, e magazine for creative writing and now i take i take the privilege of you know uh, welcoming dr Pris, uh, prignya baspai ma'am uh, to address thank you so uh, much and the event and you know uh, to say something about you know friendship and read out a poem and all yours ma'am mike thank you thank you so much dear prasanna uh, that was really generous good evening my dear friends all the eminent poets present here and uh, at the outset i must express my immense joy of being a part of this beautiful celebration i've been listening to such lovely poems and um, i really uh, you know appreciate all the poets here i express my sincere gratitude to dear friend prasanna for having me here and i'm truly humbled and honored he is doing a wonderful job of binding so many global poets together uh, that's really commendable uh today uh, because it's a friendship day i actually being a filmy person you know totally filmy person i can't think of uh, friendship day without remembering a few films like brides maid lady bird hangover three idiots shole 
mujhse dosti karogi uh, and the list goes on you know and in this era of social networking many a times um, the so called friend list is often misleading and people are missing on the real essence of friendship the bubble needs to be busted and an understanding of real and virtual friends must be clearly understood and uh, i keep telling that to my uh, students my uh, children also that virtual friends can't be our go to friends at 2 am or 3 am in the night or maybe any time when we really need their presence be it celebrating a milestone or maybe an sos situation the first person that you think of in that situation is that your real friend like krishna was to arjuna jay was to viru and chor das was to faran and raju i'm sure people uh, who watch these films can uh, relate to them and there are many many more epitome of friendship their relationship is all about being uh, non judgmental being caring um, you know accepting and knowing exactly what is happening in the mind of their friends and this is actually true true friendship and no one knows that better than your friend you know a perfect wavelength that can't match with everyone and i'm sure that happens with all of us because we human beings are instinctively gregarious and having friends comes naturally to all of us and i am no exception you know in the middle of my life when i look back and wonder what friendship means to me i realize it has been an integral part of my existence you know and uh, having spent my childhood Uh, in a joint family i have grown up having lots of friends and siblings and cousins and neighbors you know i was like my life was replete with good friends and even before i could actually truly understand uh, the true meaning of or value of friends i already had so many so basically we don't need any extra skill nobody taught us you know how to make friends but still we do that you know because it happens so easily to us all of us and maintaining a real friendship is the real test of time and real test of skill how well we maintain our friends you know they say friend if a friendship lasts uh, for more than 7 years then it will last a lifetime and i truly agree with it you know um well uh, you all will uh, know this when your friend doesn't complain uh, about not talking for a very long time and starts a conversation from where you left last time and that's how it exactly works isn't that a simple relationship that knows no expectations and that just demands um, nothing except love and that is the beauty of friendship and i truly treasure that so friendship is all about how well we click with that one person how well you connect at the psychological and emotional level and really you know it surprises you when it happens uh, where it is least expected that's why we believe in not judging a book by its cover that's the beauty of friendship and having said that i would definitely say that age is also just a number because irrespective of age or gender i have made friends and special bonds with people double my age and half my age as well you know and um, i i pro- i probably believe that it says something about me probably thinking on those line will be a great way to uh, think about myself uh, in a better way and i'll do that exercise probably after this session <laughs> and uh, i won't claim that you know every person uh, who became my friend remained a friend because people are like too busy to maintain uh, a, a different kind of a bond with you with that equal intensity because everybody has their own priorities own understanding of life so it's like uh, you know life is like passengers people are like passengers that we meet during a train journey Uh, where we start and end our journey with some people and uh, sometimes some people just alight uh, at certain stations because they have come to serve a particular purpose in our lives 
and we we we, uh, we understand that you know uh, they play a role of a friend or philosopher a guide healer or a soulmate also so we become who we are because of the presence of certain friends in our life that we choose we are basically a sum total of the people or the friends that we have chosen they are our family our chosen family because family is gifted by god only the friends are the ones we have chosen depending upon who we are and what our preferences are so indeed it's a crucial element and and whenever we make friends i i think in everybody's life first friend that we find uh, are in our parents and that is why we share everything with our parents about everything we do during our day the people we meet whatever our feelings have been and i have always shared a beautiful bond as a child with my mother my father and today when i am a parent myself and i'm very proud of that fact uh, when i am a parent i treat my children like friends i feel that it's a sense of responsibility of being very patient and objective listener understanding a new thought process while not imposing my opinion on them and i'm not just enjoying that relationship but also learning a lot uh, in that process in addition to knowing myself better so it's like growing both of i mean both of us are growing together because a bond of friendship with parents and children can be truly helpful in learning to make right choices in life in growing together for a good reason hence i believe that parent child friendship must be nurtured in all possible ways so you see friendship is so magical that i can just go on and on uh, talking about it and friends are the angels that we truly need in our lives you know, no matter if you have many friends even if you have just one true friend it can be a blessing to save you from a from sinking in deep sea so here's wishing all of you a wonderful friendship stay and uh, god bless you all and thank you for having me here that's profound ma'am that's indeed i am blessed i am blessed to have you know <laughs> watch you and listen to your words hear to your words and won't you be presenting your poem ma'am yes uh, so uh, my poem is actually a mythological piece on lord krishna uh lord krishna uh, uh, is one of the most widely revered and most popular of all indian divinities worshiped as the uh, eighth incarnation of uh, lord vishnu and he is a supreme god in his own right and he is an epitome a true epitome of friendship for me so my poem is dedicated to him so it's a poem that i had written and got uh, published also in uh, krishnashtak because the, the book was dedicated to krishna and here i go the title of the poem is krishna the mythical feminist krishna's love is deep and pure when radha lies in thy soul his simplicity and gentleness are virtues to extol his honesty and sheer devotion with that her heart he stole acceptance and faith in love he professed to one and all krishna is a divine friend when draupadi lies in thy soul he comforts the broken heart and brings it in control he saved her duryodhan's wrath while pandavas didn't move at all to walk her through challenging path he played a crucial role krishna is the perfect man for the only warrior consort satyabhama he reveres her prowess and skill with objective purport as a mythical feminist sort he renders due support satya when resolves to avenge for him the husband's ego doesn't distort neither being rescued by her ruin his pride nor break his spirit of a sport kunti's vision he understands 
for oneness of her sons. When Krishna dispels her confusion, a faith develops in return as he convinces Draupadi for the sake of her concern. When Kunti's sons lived in exile, her heart and heavens burned. Krishna kept her moral high, her fondness thus he quietly earned. With Satyabhama or Draupadi, Radhika, Kunti, Rukmani, he had a distinct camaraderie. Krishna empowered women all around during the darkest hours abound. He embodies friendliness, love, and divinity. Worship Krishna with seriousness to find the truth and serenity. Thank you so much. Wow, well, well, we had that glimpse of Panchama Veda in chapter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All might uh, know that what is Panchama Veda, Mahabharata is considered to be a Panchama Veda, and uh, ma'am just That's recited right. a segment of you know Krishna segment as a part of it on Friendship Day. That's wonderful, ma'am, presenting you. I cannot say you know I am just a, a you know small fry in front of you, but then a little Not bit. Not <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank it's you so for kind. blessing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. being so generous. Thanks for accepting our invitation and uh, saying uh, for your words and spending. That was such an honor. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And now I did, now I would like to de de delightfully hand over my turn to Sunita Hussain Didi, is a third lab host. Uh, I request Sunita Didi to ha hand over the mic. I mean, take over the mic. Thank you, Sunita. Thank you, Prasanna. Thank you, Prasanna. Thanks a lot. Uh, hopefully, I'm audible to everyone. Uh, greetings of the day to everyone. It is really a wonderful platform to host mm -hmm. you all. Uh, we are grateful to Prasanna for the, uh, for the organizing part and the rest of the people who answered it and Dr. Padya Dabbaji. Really wonderful words you have spoken, and every word is to the poor. And the poem by Krishna is really wonderful. You could kindly turn on your mic, please. Okay. And uh, after Pragna, uh, after uh, Dr. Sudipta Mishra, kindly call on. Uh, 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 um, uh, just, uh, Rowley, 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 Rowley. Okay. Okay. Uh, am I audible right now, President? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Rowley, Iam James. Okay. 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 Uh, now, uh, dear all, greetings of the day and uh, thanks to President. We are grateful, all of us are grateful to him that he organizes such shows, uh, online platform that different people uh, of different nationalities can get connected, but they are by heart the poets. And thanks to Dr. Patya Bajpai, she spoke very well. And every word, every word had the meaning in it, and every word was true to the core. And her poem, Krishna being the feminist, was really wondered that how Krishna empowered every woman he come in touch with in his lifetime. and. Uh, now, uh, happy Friendship Day to everyone. This theme on this day really makes the sense. Some friends come to teach, some to preach, some enter to lead. Do all have a role to play? Can we believe in the twin flame? Can we believe in soul connection? All friends may not be friends, may not know or hold the same vibe. Their philosophies may be different. Those who share the bond share all. Start from where we leave, understand without speaking. So uh, it's the essence of having friends. It can be of any age group, nationality, or it can be on any medium we can get connected with a friend. To start with the third lab, I would like to call upon 
डॉक्टर सुदीपा मिश्रा जी डॉक्टर सुदीपा मिश्रा जी यस मैम गुड इवनिंग हैप्पी फ्रेंडशिप डे एम आई ऑडिबल यस यू आर वेरी मच ऑडिबल थैंक यू लेट मी रिसर्च माय पोएम दैट इज द लेटर टू माय फ्रेंड व्हेन यू विल बी अबंडन बाय एवरीवन यू विल रिमेंबर माय डेडिकेशन यू विल रिकॉलेक्ट माय मेमोरीज यू विल रीथिंक आवर कन्वर्सेशन हाउ अगेन एंड अगेन वी स्माइल without any reason but by then it will be a lost story with the setting of the sun you will moan and groan with desperation you will surely howl without any companion no pulse will lend ears to your frustration departed from every friend you will call me but i will not be there you see by taking our friendship for granted you have backstabbed my emotions ne no more i will not be the same person surely you will recollect my bright face several times that illuminated your dark face gone are the days my dearest no i will not be there to give the my lean soldier you will miss me forever on this friendship day let me extend a letter to appreciate your hat and to continue with the abundance of care i promise to be a friend to you until my last breath it's over thank you everyone very nice beautifully friend beautifully friend and dr sudipa mehta that i will be there to my last breath to care for you to show my adoration on you now i would like to call upon dr roli joseph dr roli uh kindly i am didi i am afraid he left uh, he'll be joining later so i could call upon the second one dharampal okay. doctor okay shall i call upon dr paramita mukherjee bol rahe nahi doctor doctor uh... गुड इवनिंग अ वेरी हैप्पी फ्रेंडशिप डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्रेंडशिप इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे नाउ in this poem of mine and i've named it in search of a friend and this poem is from my book paradigm in search of a friend in search of a friend i walked many miles in search of a friend i saw many false smiles in search of a friend i received many a pain in search of a friend i walked in vain in search of a friend i endured hard days in search of a friend i stepped on dreary ways in search of a friend i lost many a goal in search of a friend i had so much to do suddenly i realized true friends are one of a kind so suddenly i realized true friends are one of a kind so they have to be searched and are hard to find thank you very nice ma'am very nice to me very nice ma'am the quest is there to find a friend now i would like to call upon mr panther penny gutton s Good evening. Good evening, madam. Good evening. Am I am I audible? Yes, you are very much audible, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, okay, Kumar Prasanji, and uh, have a friendship day to all my global poet friends. And uh, I will recite my poem: the value of friendship. In this life, we need friends on an 
uncertain journey, we need friends. Just like love, we need a partner. We need someone who can be trusted because our days are full of uninspected things. When we fall, there are hands to help. When we ask, there is someone who give an answer. When our feet falter, there is someone to support. When we are sad, there is a voice that comforts and strengthens. Who wants to do all that unconditionally? A heart that can be as one. The ready hands to reach me. Also, who always give encouragement and enlightenment. A place to share joys and sorrows. Who intention are sincere without expecting anything in return. Thank you. Thank you for listening. That's my part. Thank you, sir, Mr. Santos, Sammy Gutterman, is really wondrous, really wondrous. Now, uh, I Thank would like you, to call up one in the lab, Miss Lata Prem Shakyaji. Miss Lata Prem Shakyaji on this platform to recite her poem. Miss Lata Prem Shakya. Good evening, friends. Now. Good evening. Happy Friendship Day. And let me thank Kumar for giving me this opportunity to share my poem on this Friendship Day. The title of my poem is Prop. Friendship as Prop. Prop. Friendship, a prop of life. Who can live without it? Even the meanest heart yearns like the sunflower and the friendly warmth to bloom and share happiness, hopes and miseries begotten in the journey of life. Where can one hold secret loves, suppressed yearnings, untold miseries and unspoken desires, if not in a friend's heart? Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Really nicely said. Now I would like to call upon the next one in the lab, Dr. Krishna Walikar. But on behalf of Dr. Krishna Walikar, Shilpa, uh, she will recite the poem. Shilpa ji, we are easy to hear you. Your sweet voice. You're not audible, ma'am. You're not audible. Maybe she's on mute. You're not audible. Shilpaji, you are not audible. <coughs> Please unmute. Hello. 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 Am I audible? Am I audible now? Yes. Audible. Hello. Okay. Yes, Hi, Samita. Yeah. Hi, Samita, yeah. and happy. Good day to you and all our team members, Prasanna brother, Ekta, Jeshriti, 
and mr parvez all of you happy friendship day and on behalf of mr krishna walikar i'll read his poem uh, which is based on uh, friendship so the title also is given as friendship friendship is like a ship ever ready to help to cross the turbulent ocean of life do not be friend with all and sundry when you hold a hand see it surely for god never turn it into bad carefully choose friends for good ones men's bad ones life it surely ends distance from opportunities hug tight the characteristics mind is a good friend when kept under control a bad foe when it rules us mind is both foe and friend how you act its role depends uh, dr krishna walikar from karnataka india thank you uh, dear friends for listening to his words and uh, mr krishna it was a beautiful verse also and uh, i am handing over back the charge to sunita husain thank you thank you shilpa ji and we are missing you today as the person who hosts the show but i'm I, i promise next event i'll be hosting but uh, just excuse me for few days as uh, i'm busy with something else okay enjoy your uh, time over here and uh, continue thank you a beautiful poem by uh, dr krishna walikar always spiritual in a sense now i would like to call upon mr rajendra ojha mr rajendra ojha uh, hello am i audible yes you are very much audible sir kindly uh, continue yeah hello everyone i am rajendra ojha from nepal and without delaying uh, i am going to start my poem so the title of my poem is uh, uh, the nobel friendship and it goes like this companion the uh, companion that rose in the river of emotions be, uh, befits the best chariot in life let us say, let us here execute the friendship that is free of any dirt and influence o oh, beloved ones the path of friendship is the only way towards buddha today involving the politics of scarcity and influence in it let's not trade the emotion here cactus also provide food for we when we are hungry cactus also provide food when hungry do not openly discuss any of its flaws when every when every path begins to have an open trade of emotion when every path begins to have an open trade of emotions only bond of friendship becomes like a chain here that's why my dear friend i like cactus a lot because by giving many uh, boutiques of roses later there are many here to spread the thorns that exist in that rose thank you Really Thank beautiful, you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rajendra Ojha from Nepal. It was really nice to hear you over this platform. Now I would like to call upon the next one in the uh, third lap, Miss Lopa Mudra Mishra. Miss Lopa Mudra Mishra. Hello, ma'am. I'm audible. Yes, you are very much audible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Nice meeting you all. and it's a great pleasure and honor to be here with all of you and uh, now let me start friendship is beyond the borders and division it's not to defeat one another but to win each other not to laugh at others but to laugh together cry for one another happy friendship day to all of you now does the poem begins friend is the most sweetest word in the earth most affectionate the word with lots of warmth and brotherhood no compassion no sympathy the beauty behind the terminology is my friend is with me and i am with you this is the beauty and this is the strength a friend knows the thickness of blood how light is the tears how depth is your laughter how much intense is your pathos a friend is a ray of your pulse that's because we are all here together with poetic pulse 
can a friend can judge the parameter without having a glance a friend loves you the way you are guides you from falling in a trap binds you with ample fields that we can never detach to make you feel you are not alone in the path this poem is pure and true genuine and profound this we should understand that getting a good friend is always important life has its staircases to climb a friend can guide us to climb in a better way just to cheer us wipe us and guide us in midway so that we will never drain out in the crossroad thank you for your presence thank you so much thank you to my prashanna ji for the invitation and the pleasure always to be with my dear friends thank you so much thank you happy thank you to to very and beautifully now, rendered now i would like to call upon ms jan john ms jan john hello everyone i'm happy to be here happy friendship day i'm going to share a poem that i wrote years ago for my childhood friends it's called quilted friendship like pieces of cloth sewn together our lives are intertwined by friendship love and laughter we were connected by circumstance location church school and family young and caring children now beautiful and mature people lovely patterns colorful and textural different yet similar we are common threads woven to create something special our individual spirits and varied lives foster shared experiences in sad and happy times collective and personal reinforcements we have something beautiful and unique comfortable and warm i call it quilted friendship that's my poem and i define friendship as love by choice thank you beautiful thank you thank you miss jam john and now i would like to call upon miss sital luri padma yeah hi hi good evening good evening everyone uh, thank you <coughs> sorry thank you the members of the team fertile brains for giving me this opportunity to recite my poem the title of my poem is friendship your appearance with a smile your amicable gesture the trust i have in you your energy that boosts me let me survive in this malicious world in my muddled and thorny path you ever pat me with a warm hand money has no role between us time connects us not people time that is the healer of minds relationship is everlasting dear promises i do keep forever neither rain nor sunshine can stop travel with me in my mighty ship i never throw you in the middle of the sea oh dear travel in my mighty ship the comfortable and mighty ship that's friendship thank you beautiful travel in my mighty ship i will never throw you in the sea beautiful thank you ma'am and once we are if we are friends we are friends for the life and this is what and we are going to help each other grow together Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, last but not the least, Doctor Satish Trivastava. 
Did so, Satish, uh, Satish sir uh, could not uh, make it uh, here, so he could call upon Rawali Iyam James. Rawali Iyam James. I would like to call upon Rawali uh, Iyam James. Kindly. Okay. Rawali Iyam James. I am here. Rawali. Thank you. Thank you, my friends from around the world. Uh, I had to pop out real quick and come back. Uh, there's also the, the poetry festival going on in Singapore. So today is like crazy, but a good crazy. Um, you got blessed souls from around the world connecting through poetry. Um, to me, that's that's, an, that's a brilliant form of friendship. Um, in African traditions, particularly in the Zulu traditions, they talk about Ubuntu. I don't know if many of you are familiar with Ubuntu, but Ubuntu is I am because you are. And to me, that that is uh, one of the foundations to friendship. Uh, the first friend has to be that of self with yourself so you can learn how to be kind and generous with other people. So um, I present a poem. I have two very small ones. Uh, one is about love and the first one is about the friendship, the spirit of Ubuntu. It's called Because. I am grounded in truth's love, connected to the inner goodness that reflects the virtue and essence of my humanity. We are one from the beginning into this now and to the end. We are not only the good of life or the beauty of our souls, but together we are the torrid river forward. In relationship with time and space, in all things, for the moment is all things. All that we do and all that we are is spiritual and not a destination. You are the charge between my atoms, binding the eternal silence that ignites the inherent spark of friendship's grace. In this bittersweet embrace, from a woman's cry, a pain propels us forward on the path of the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful of life experiences. Rooted in every little step as a reminder that I am because you are. And I wrote that piece not realizing it was about friendship or anything because I, I don't think in, the, in those terms because I see everyone that I meet and encounter, and when I say everyone, every living species on this planet is a friend because we are connected, because we breathe the same air. The question is, will I take the time to get to know you, to want to know you, to like you enough to invite you into my inner circle? Because I look at the madness that's going on in the world today and we keep fighting and arguing with each other and who's right and who's wrong and we miss the whole point. We get to do this with each other, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, because where else are we going to do it? We are all bound on this planet by gravity and the fact that we're here and we breathe the same air that makes us one. So I invite people to look at things in a different way. So I'll end with this piece that is not just about friendship, it's just for everyone. It's called- Such a profound uh, philosophy. Uh, yep. Thank you, thank you. It matters not. It's a very short piece. Yes, you have shown us the right direction. It matters not that we walk together. Sorry? I... There's a delay, I didn't hear you. I agree. It's so foolish. It's so, it's so foolish. Yeah, well, that's how we learn. Let me just finish this and then you guys can say. Love, love, um, love what you said. That's okay. You You're most welcome. You're most welcome. Thanks for your feedback. Uh, this piece is called It Matters Not. It matters not that we walk together for me to love you. For my love respect reflects spirit. It matters not 
if you can see my love, for my love is the hope in us all. It matters not if you can hear my love, for my love is the sound that echoes eternal life. It matters not if you can feel my love, for my love beats in the hearts of all. It matters not if you know the touch of my love, for my love is the inhaled breath that is life. It matters not if you know of my love, for my love lives now and in all the days to come. It matters not anything, for my love for you is everything. End of peace. Thank you so much for having me and, and my involvement in this. I'm so glad that I could, because of technology, I could bounce back and forth. I'm gonna stay a bit more and, and take in this because often this, 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 this day was started by a greeting card company, but it's a good thing because it gives us a chance to connect and connect and to, to, to see that regardless of all this nonsense, we keep telling ourselves that how different we are, we're not different. We're the same. We want the same things in life. And I love you all. Thank you so much to the organizers for this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wolfe. Uh, thanks a lot. And you have rightly discussed about the connectivity we need as we are humans. We are bound to this earth. Thanks a lot. And with this, I end the third lap. And I uh, give back the baton to Prasanna Mahai. Please step over it for the fourth lap. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And happy friendship day once again. Well, thank, and thank you, Devi, for hosting the third lap and and the uh, such a pleasure and uh, and your I mean it was so profound. Uh, and now I would like to call upon Ekta Ahuja, ma'am, to kindly host the fourth lap. Hello everyone, it's so great to see you all and uh, listen to the wonderful verses on this uh, uh, beautiful topic uh, and subject, which is friendship. So uh, just I would like to say Dr. Pragya, Shama Prasad ji, Ganga Lakshmi ji, Bijo, Mick, Poet Rowley, Sudipta, Zan, they all, and, and everyone else who uh, presented their uh, wonderful verses uh, really came up with the, this beautiful essence of friendship in their own way, in the unique way of them, uh, theirs. So uh, now I would actually present a few, uh, you know, uh, two lines on friendship and then start with the lap. So uh, the title is Friendship, a Blessing to Dearly Souls. Whenever life encounters an arduous vicinity, friends are there to ease every difficulty. Actually, it's a, a collaborative poem. I have just presented two lines that friends are always there when there are difficult and good times. And uh, there is one uh, quote which I uh, penned. It is a true friendship can withstand biggest of skulls. It can go low for a while, but it is bloomed. Yes, of course, there are lows and highs in every relationship and uh, friendship, uh, which is uh, which you can find uh, in parents or in your relatives, your cousins or friends. So it can go low for a while, but it is the essence of life and it uh, gives strength to life. So now we will hear uh, poet Harinder Chima. We have uh, read many poem of uh, uh, the beautiful poetess. So poetess Harinder, are you there? I'm there, am I, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Please present your poem. Hi, Ekta. First of all, happy Friendship Day to you. Thank you. 
All right, as always, I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to dear Kumar Prasanna. And in the same breath, I want to wish all the poets, all my friends, a very happy friendship day. Thank you so much for the invitation to this lovely program and making me stand under the shade of one umbrella called the Fertile Brains. So presenting my poem, Nature versus Man. The benevolent sun gives its sunshine to one and all. Everyone enjoys the shade of the trees big and tall. The stars twinkle in the sky, giving us all a reason to smile. Nature does not discriminate with the intentions why. The rain falls on the roofs of the rich and the poor houses alike. The cuckoo song is for everyone without any gender bias or racial dislike. A moonlit night is enjoyed by all thick and thin. Mother Earth loves her children of all colors of skin. Then why do we fight, O oh brothers and sisters, in the name of region and religion? When our master is one and we are all the great one's children. You give me your hand and I will extend mine and together let's start to walk. There will be no rifts then and no need to resolve them in the round table talks. Let us learn to share and care as love is worship and this world can become one family only with true French. Thank you so much. Thank you. Once again, happy Friendship Day to all. Wow. Oh, you took a beautiful uh, concept, Mother Nature. Such a, a big and, you know, uh, uh, the, conne the connection with the nature is really which uh, each one of has in our heart. Sure. Really, it doesn't discriminate. You rightly said it, just nailed it. Wonderful. Thank you, Ekta. thank you, means a lot. Um, I would uh, like to call uh, the next poet, uh, Dharam Paul Thakur. Poet Dharam Paul Thakur. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, sir. Please present your verse. You are on mute. Please unmute yourself. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Please go ahead. Uh, a very, very happy friendship day to all. Uh, friendship uh, is a divine opportunity that God has bestowed upon us. A true friend is the other half of oneself. Friendship takes place between two good souls and it transcends uh, narrow things in terms of reason, caste, color, and creed. And uh, it, it acquires the form of cosmopolitanism. So I'm going to recite my poem which is entitled Friendship. Friendship and fair weather friends. Friendship and fair weather people can't walk together even half a mile. Friendship and fair weather people can't walk together even half a mile. The tree of friendship takes root in the soil of sincerity. The tree of friendship takes root in the soil of sincerity, nurtured by the nectar of love and like-mindedness. Nurtured by the nectar of love and like-mindedness. By the sunshine of sweet sanguinity. By the zephyr that sails across and soars above all borders and sing the song of synergy to blossom and bear fruit. It is prolonged by the touch of trust 
and tenacity. It is prolonged by the touch of trust and tenacity, whether the season is cool or cold, hot or humid. The tree never grows in the desert of deception. The tree never grows in the desert of deception with the mirage of mistrust and mockery, with the aridity of arrogance and anger, salting away spite and suspicion, salting away spite and suspicion. When friendship between two persons, when friendship between two persons is struck up with a materialistic motivation, when friendship between two persons is struck up with a materialistic motivation or is founded on fragile, flimsy infatuation, the tree is soon shaken by wily, wrathful winds. The tree is soon shaken by wily, wrathful winds. And one day it is uprooted by the storm of separation. Thank you, thank you. So kind of you. It all comes with the experience. Uh, the words which you narrated, uh, uh, Poet Dharam, it is really uh, the fair weather people and friendship uh, don't go hand in hand. The two can never be friends. <laughs> so, uh, the best lines I would like to quote that is nurtured by nectar of love and song of synergy. You have really used a few words in, the, in very... Uh... And uh, I especially uh, say my sense of, uh, express my sense of gratitude to Mr. Prasanna and other team members for bestowing me with this great opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for presenting wonderful words. Uh, so next poet uh, is our beautiful Rita Ji, and uh, we have uh, listened to her before, and now I hand over the mic to her. Rita Ji, are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, Ekta, thank you so much. You are so elder to me, but happy friendship day. <laughs> <laughs> there is no so, yeah, happy friendship day, dear. Happy friendship day to everyone. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Thank you, Prasanna Ji, for inviting me to recite my poem. I'm really honored. Thank you so much. Uh, the title of my poem is A Special Bond. Friendship is a special bond between two loving souls, a precious gift of God forever to hold. Their heart beat for each other with musical vibes, can't stay without each other for a long period of time. The whole world seems to be lonely without a friend. The whole world seems to be lonely without a friend. Keep burning the lamp of friendship with magnificent trends. Always walk together, holding one another's hand, supporting each other in tardy and difficult bands. A true friend is the one who shows one the right path. Never cheat, deceit, or be jealous of a friend smart. Always learn to be happy in the progress of your friend walking together in the journey of life with sweet time spent. Friendship grows as time passes by. It's like wine. With growing years, it gets more refined. Love your friends with your heart and soul. Thousands of colors will fill Sudama's life by becoming Krishna as a whole. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Beautiful lines, Rita. It's really a special. Thank you. 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 Th
thank you so much and uh, without friendship really the world is lonely so next uh, poet i would uh, like to call R richard temple richard are you there i am yes thank you very much uh, you and th thank you for uh, inviting me to to read at this I, I i've never heard of friendship day before um and it's a lovely thing to have discovered um i i'm going to stick within the 16 line limit uh, this is um this is probably the most controversial title we're going to get today but it's also my first ever wholly positive poem, I think. This is Friends Are Not a Blessing. Friends are not a blessing, no prayer manifesting, but rather life's labour, forged flesh. Potential of endeavours, earning notice, love and favour, inspiring with adventures. A tribe to chime or challenge society and family, Fellow travellers to subvert, divert, aimless wanderings of birth, raw potential, experiential, existential, a true story, a mythology, no bequeathal of a blessing intervening in our being, but the only wealth and meaning in this dreaming we call life. Thank you. So uh, the title of your poem, uh, it's not a blessing. It uh, you you know uh, uh, just stuck in the mind that what what would be the uh, poem, but uh, you just it carried the essence of friendship only. So thank you very much. Yeah. Wonderful lines, uh, Richard. And uh, next, I would uh, like to call. Uh, my friend, dear Jill. Jill, are you there? Jill, Sh Jill Sharon Kimmelman. I think she's not there. Prasanna ji? No, ma'am. I could go ahead. I mean, we could move ahead. You could call oh, uh, no. Lakshman Rao. Jill. Do you want me to call the poet Lakshman Rao? Yes, yes. Okay. So next I would like to welcome poet Lakshman Rao uh, to uh, present his poem. Lakshman Rao ji, are you there? Well, I'm quite here. I'm audible. <laughs> well, yes, this yes. is the first question like you have asked. Like, well, yes. everybody uh, wish I wish everybody a happy friendship day. So on that note, I would like to straight away go ahead, go ahead to my poem without, uh, without being a nonsensical poet. Well, the poem of, uh, well, the title of my poem is Soul Circle, Soul Circle. So I, I wish not to describe or uh, uh, give a meaning to friendship, but I would like to take it in a different dimension as in an intellectual mode. Okay, so here it goes, as in Soul Circle. Friendship finds its way in the early spring. Friendship finds its way in the early spring. While as an adult, we find the acquaintance. In our own inner circle, where the mature minds can't make friends at a time of an age-old adult. It's not to make you agree with my perspective. It's not to make you agree with my perspective. Though, if you disagree from your vantage view, though, if you disagree from your vantage view, you have seen, been experienced and absorbed. You have seen, been experienced and absorbed. All in different quarters amidst birth and death. All in different quarters amidst the birth and death. Every related event goes through thorough transition. Every related event goes through thorough transition. As each powerful transformation transforms the person. As each Powerful transformation transforms the person, which brings you closer to your awareness and the truth. Which brings you closer to your awareness and the truth. For you attack with those who match your frequency. For you attack with those who match your frequency. It's almost the same thing. Like what I mean to say, like we catch up with the same vibes with the, with the person who have the same uh, 
uh, equal frequency, right? So that's how we met big friends. Or else, for me, like I am a solo guy. I don't have friends. Honestly, I don't have friends. So <laughs> let me be honest on that. So I'd like to finish my poem with this couplet. Uh, the last two lines. Life brings in many occasions to expand one's soul circle. Life brings in many occasions to expand one's soul circle. Lest you make your mind to find the best of your choice. Lest you make your mind to find the best of your choice. Thank you. Signing off. This is my talk from Bangalore. I uh, really you took it to the different dimension. And yes, uh, if you're a friend to yourself and you're yeah. connected to your soul, so sometimes people doesn't uh, need uh, any other person to accompany. They are their best company. I think best uh, friend. Simple. the way you presented your poem, so it... Uh, so because you can't match uh, everybody with your frequency, with your mind waves, with the thought process. You can't catch anybody because... I can't relate to anybody with, uh, with whom uh, I can't speak about poetry with anybody. Right. So that way, like I can't get connected to poetry friends in the known circle or else in or else in the unknown circle. So we need to find a person who can uh, tap into our frequency. So that's how it goes. And more like uh, as I said, like it's a soul circle, but it finds its own destiny at a certain point of time. So I find I feel like. Through fertile brains, I've made friends. <laughs> Through fertile brains, I've made yes. some friends here and there. I'm making friends, but rather made friends. Through fertile brains, such a, a precious thing could be uh, achieved. <laughs> uh, so, uh, wonderful, wonderful, uh, unique poem. Uh, I would like to call our next poet, uh, Poet Sai Prakash. Sai Prakash ji, are you there? Sir, waiting for you, sir. <laughs> he comes as stop. His voice is enough. <laughs> you could move on, man. Okay. Next poet, uh, poet Rakesh Chandra ji. Rakesh Chandra ji, are you there? Done. So, um, so, the last uh, poet for this lab is Poet Aftab Tariq. Oh. Poet Aftab, are you there? No, he's not. Okay. So, I think uh, uh, this. Anybody else? For uh, Prasanna ji, you want me to call, or uh, shall I read my poem? Yeah, I could read your poem. <laughs> <laughs> and you could, uh, you know, play, hand over to Maria. Well, there are uh, many wonderful poets we could not uh, listen to today. Uh, so maybe next time. So I would like to uh, read uh, my verse. Uh, and I would like to uh, just uh, take the point to Dr. Pragya's point, which was that uh, parents are our first friends. Yeah, really. Uh, the means children come, you know, communicate with their parents uh, first in their life. Means they are the first people to communicate to. So, you know, they can, uh, they are uh, your best friends. So uh, I am very much connected to my father and uh, he, he is my first best friend. So the poem with today is his birthday. So I am going to read a poem for him. So give me a minute. Uh, the title of my poem is An Epitome of Devotion. Uh, I dedicate this poem to my father. He's my first best friend. Uh, so this is poem for him. Uh, always my someone to look up to. Admirable and my strength, my daddy, be it what I am through. Altruism and compassion, I see and learn from you. Aura so sublime and positive point of view. 
angelic person, my daddy, under whose care is I grew. An epitome of devotion towards family is so true. Avidity towards life and my smile. My dear daddy is from you. My dear daddy is from you. Thank you so much. And uh, 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 this poem is, uh, you know, is it's a specific form of uh, poetry, but the essence it carries, it's uh, very close to my heart. So thank you everyone for listening. So much Beautiful. Happy birthday to your father, Ekta. Thank you so much for the wonderful wishes. I'll, I'll uh, beautiful I'm, verses. Beautiful verses. Ekta, happy birthday to your father. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the beautiful wishes. I will really I'll tell my father <laughs> that you have got wishes from all over the world. So it was a uh, you know wonderful to be. Would like to hand over the mic to Ekta Ji. Manju Vishwa Bharati. Miss Manju Vishwa Bharati. Manju Vishwa Bharati. Okay. So next, I would like to welcome poet Manju. You're welcome. Please present your words. Good evening and happy Friendship Day, um, dear poet friends. Thank you, Prasanna Ji, for the invite. My poem is entitled Bliss. Every time I attempt to tame solitude, comes a pal to hold my hand. Then I come to know how the breeze gives wings to a feather. Then a streak of sun beams at me through the window pane. That's all. Thank you. Nice, short and crisp poem, uh, Poet Manju. So I would uh, now like to uh, hand over the mic to poet Maria. Maria, are you there? Are you So next lap will be hosted by her. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Maria? Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. I'm here. Hi, Maria. Please thank now, you. floor is all yours. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for passing me the baton to go further on this uh, meeting and uh, I would like to say good evening to everyone and wish a very very happy friendship day. Um, thank you Prasanna Ji for inviting me uh, and all team of the Fertile Brains to let me participate on this video meeting show. Um, well, I am so grateful to appreciate so many talent poets and so many beautiful verses. Um, I, I will begin to call uh, the poets to recite their poems. The first one on the list is David Liu Sirius. Please join us, David. David, are you there? Ma'am, David finished. You could call Richard. Ma'am David finished his reading. You would call. You can call Richard. Richard C. Peck, are you there? Yes, I am. And here we go. I have a poem okay. called "Friendship." Friendships international. Friendships incandescent. You can always tell when it's present. Friendship lifts us, friendship saves the fallen, and ever, hardly ever like an army marches in columns. Though his friend be Ray or Alan, who have risen with me when I've fallen, maybe Linda, who's the friend who comes when I call, or Scott, 
Finn, Raul, or Robbie who joins me when my legs are wobbly? Will a Sandy or perhaps a Jerry come and join me when I'm merry? I'll celebrate with Jeff, Iris, Sandy, or Jack when and if he's wandered back. <clears throat> Will a Leslie or a Lucia make it and joyous at the last appeal? Will a Mark or perhaps a Tim show up when the fates are grim? Be it Stephen, Finn, Ian, or even Karina, will they join me in the arena when we arrive at the station, whether in sadness or elation? Will it be Danelle who guides me away from the hell that hides me? Regardless of the name or sex, friendship guides me past the next new horizon. Or maybe or to overtop some rugged mountain sore. Their caring sustains and guides me, even lifts me like a fountain there beside me. The best part of all when on me stresses fall, a chance for me to take a stance, to lift them, gift them from this tiny self, to provide and give them wealth for the honor they have given and the miles that they have ridden. How could I ever repay such a gift, their friendship that my heart uplifts, such a debt I can never give enough in praise, in effort, spent in time frequent. My friend is my arm. I must keep them strong. My friend is my arm. I must keep them strong. Oh, congratulations, Richard. It's always a great pleasure to listen to you. Your poems are very beautiful. Thank you so very much. Happy Thank you, Maria. Day. Thank you. Um, and now the next one. Teddy, Teddy, are you there? No, ma'am. No? Venu no. is re is re nivas. No, no, no. It's not no? Isabel is not there. Isabel Isabel A M Myrales. Please no, no, join it's... us. No. No. Is the list over? No, she is the Vasant Kumar is there. <laughs> and Mana Titi Hanji. No, no, no. Wasn't Kumar, wasn't Kumar. Prasanna Kumar, please, joining. <laughs> Good evening to all the poetic brothers and sisters of Fertile Brains. I wish a happy Friendship Day to each one of you. I'm Wasant Kumar from Karnataka, India. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, Am yes, 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 yes. Uh, my part, uh, title of my poem is uh, Her Friendship is My Passion. What a passion her friendship is. She is an young woman like an illuminating car. Her friendship is an unforgettable memory. She is like an unstoppable raindrop. She is the one who beckons every drop of love. She is the smile of a child. She is kind and uh, like a mother no matter how boring it is without getting any bored. She turned out to be a good friend again. She is a sp spreading wine and a sweet scent of blossoms and uh, no matter how much it is described. She is the one who stands is not finished. Thank you so much uh, and humble to Prasanna sir and, uh, and uh, his team for inviting me. Thank you so much, uh, Maria, ma'am, for inviting. Thank you, Thank President you. Kumar. Thank you very much. I loved your fun. See you Thank next you, time again, I hope. Thank you. Uh, the next one. Same to you. Thank Same you. to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will call the next one Mena Ticket Hutchinson. I don't know if uh, the pronounce is correct, but if you are here, please join us. And next is Teresa, ma'am. Teresa. Teresa. Um, okay. Teresa Prane Bertash, please join with us. We want to hear you, please. Thank you. Happy Friendship Day to everyone. Thank you for the invitation. It's been such a pleasure listening to everyone. Um, the title of my poem is, We Become Who We Are in Friendships. 
It is the break in friendships that keep us awake, not the naivete or sentimentality that we think sets us free. I thought in my naivete that I chose you as you did me in friendship. I did not clearly see the spirit of love inflamed between you and me and the divine who manifested when we met as a pair, whether for a cup of tea sitting on our chair or something more extraordinary. Together we became more than we are alone and at times to atone for some offense against one another when we grieved we retrieved from our very being some new way of seeing and abundance reigned in the place of loss and pain. I always felt content in my family and welcomed everyone I met and now that I am yours and you are mine, our love sustains us throughout time and no dividing line, my friend, loving you until the end. In every day in which we live, we can thrive, we can forgive, knowing that love resides inside and when we feel spent, we listen as love never hides. And in friendship, love comes alive when we consent. Thank you. Thank you, very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot for participating on this video meeting. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Mine also, thank you. Um, the next one, Shaiwa Shi Ray. Please join us. Jai Shri Ray. Jai Shri Ray. Jai Shri Ray. Please join with us. Jai. I think uh, she's is not this, here. Uh, Jai Shri, ma'am, kindly unmute your mic. We have seen you. Jai. <laughs> okay, good. I think we could proceed uh, uh, to the next point. Uh, Mr. V. Ishrinivas. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. All of my friends, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, ma'am. Happy Friendship Day. And friend is need, a friend indeed. Okay. That's true. We are all friends. <laughs> We are all soulmate. I think so. Friend is named indeed. My poem, Oh, my friend, an untimely evening. The untimely evening arrives, my friend, without a forewarning. Neither going by the rules of the arts rotation. My heart, my friend, my speed, and my rhythm. The shadow of the evening comes with a robotic pill and city stress. Oh, my friend, or maybe rustic, busy pill of the life gone by. The evening definitely brings with it a sense of satisfaction or the pride of joyful mood. I have never relished before. Oh my God. The evening does not crisis cross the negative heated rivers or rivulets on the UH. It flies with the morning breeze, it stimulates my solitude. My friend, the untimely evening finally arrives. With you, a mood of romance, a mood of classicism. To install a new sense of existence, a sense of existence. An unknown perfume, an unknown perfume all around, an unknown perfume all around. Oh, my friend, you are my rose. Oh, my friend, you are my sky. Oh, my friend, you are my whole of life. 
Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Very beautiful poem. Thanks for sharing it with us. Happy Friendship Day to you. Happy Friendship Day. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of my friends. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, the next one on my list is V is Rinivas. Are you there, V? No, ma'am, no. No? And the next is Holly. Holly, I think uh, he has already uh, presented uh, yes. his poem. Yes. Do I have uh, someone else to call? Prasanna? Yes, you, you have Prasanna Bhatta, uh, Renukuntla Murali, and Molly Joseph. Lucien. Uh, the could, next uh, one. Uh, you could call Renukuntla Murali. Please join in. Murali, please join in. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, so nice to meet you again after a long time. Thanks very much for being with us. So good evening all. Happy Friendship Day. I am Mr. Murali. So is it audible, ma'am? Hello? 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 Please, please, is Murali, could you... Could you could you recite your poem for us? Yes, I'm audible and visible. Yes, you are audible, visible. Okay, thank you. Good evening, all. Once again, happy Friendship Day. My poem title is Friendship is Life. Friendship is not keeping the heart and the shoulders, but bearing the one's assets and move along the person forever. And empathetic, but not sympathetic. Friendship is not playing, helping, utilizing help, but not losing. Friendship is more sweeter than honey. Friendship is more wiser than jasmine flower. Friendship is fuller than iceberg. Friendship is a lighter in the darkness and remains forever until the last breath. Friendship starts from the home while mother touches us with her hands and ends at the tomb. A good friend always will be with the friends and would like to help when in our city. Friendship is the best relationship. No relationship can be superior to real friendship. Friendship is a platonic relationship between two persons undivided in our life. And best friends and true friends always one and the same similar thing, character and all habits and behavior attitudes. They are honest and loyal and trustworthy. Best friendship always be optimistic and achieve goals. And thank you for this given opportunity, ma'am, and Prasanna Kumar especially. So may I sing a lyric in Telugu just before I have written? Thank you very much for your hesitation. Love the your poem. Hope to see you again. Bye. May Happy Friendship Day. Bye. Good evening, the poem. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Hello. Would you like to yes. say something more, please? 
Yeah, I would like to sing a song written by me, madam, in Telugu language. I am from Telangana state. My mother tongue is Telugu. I usually sing songs and the trainer in English for teachers here. Okay, okay. See you next time. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, one about. I think my list is over, Prasanna. Do you, do you have someone else to call? Yes, I think uh, I okay. You could uh, you could recite your poem, ma'am, and then I would call upon uh, uh, rest of the members. You could well, you could read I'm, up. I'm going I'm going to recite uh, my poem. My poem is uh, a friend I met. Here I go. My dear lovely friend, you be light. Since the day I met you, I got pleased. My body shiver from head to toe. I know you'll be a very special friend. Friendship, it was on demand fast. We friends in Nebundance chat. At any time of day and night, my dear lovely friend, you'll be light. You, the one I was looking for, wife mine. A friend to share anything before thinking. More and more, true interaction we. Since the day I met you, I got bliss. You are always snugness on bad days and good ones. You deeply fill my heart with me. My body shiver from head to toe. You be a blessing of God. Hope you hold ourselves on high esteem it within the friendship we live together. I know you be a very special friend. And this is my poem for Friendship Day. I have another short one. Can I recite it too, President? Please, please, please. Um, the title of my poem is Friend, If You Got One. When you smile sending to me, heart my pulses faster, and I relate your smile to friendship. Yeah, the very one that came to forever. Those nights I am in trouble from you, a smooth phone call to calm down my fears, cousins, mellifluous words you say all. Oh, there are no lightnings or thunders either. If monsoon outside, not rainy days at home, I have got the truest friend that one could have without you. I promise you, in me, you have a friend too. Any weather will not win trust, even if in sad words, a little hurt. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much Thank for supporting me and invite me to participate on this radio event. Always a pleasure. You always invited uh, Maria, it, it's your platform, I remember. So <laughs> it's not like inviting, it's your platform. So thanks for you know hosting uh, Fifth Lab and uh, you know really handling with the thing. And thank you, thank you once again for your beautiful poem, President. You know, and now I would uh, ask Prasanna Bhatt, sir, and then Molly Joseph, and then Lucille. Prasanna Bhatt, sir. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm audible. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening. Sweet personalities. Feed and cherish. Happy Friendship Day. I'm all the girls to honor President Kumar Ji. I'm President Nahata. 
India is going to decide upon in this adorable platform. Control and capture of type of friendship evolve relationship. Spirit of friendship be the head and shoulder above all relationships. Providing to be life holder stands as life saver and favor. It gets high respect like flowing of the rivers east to west, the west. East to west, the best. Without getting widowed, quenches thirst of love forever. Be on the top shelf, always think of peace and cordiality, never think of character self. Never think of character self standing as hospitality of morality. Standing as hospitality of morality, spread the life savor and savor. A virtue of amity, touching to be an apex of all vigor and vitality. Without wars of duplex are complex. Without words of duplex or complex, a chief stands life builder and molder. Growing wider and older, longs last to stay. Longs last to stay. My head always sways on your shoulder. Oh, my friend, on your shoulder to make that my life gleeful and bad in all situations of jeer and cheer. Before declaring the end of my poem, I remember two sentences. Friendship is wealth and worth in this world. Friendship is wealth and worth in this world. But I am in fix. But I am in fix. Whom to accept? and whom to reject. This is the end of my poem. Thanks for listening my poem. Thank you, sir. Now I would like to call upon Honorable Dr. Molly Joseph. Ma'am, kindly unmute your mic. Thank you, dear prisoner. The very fertile minds, that is the very breeding ground of friendship togetherness, everything. So if not on this day, which day is there for fertile brains to join together? See? So I never wanted to miss it and I was enjoying every poem that came today. You know, that spring from the heart, the different takes on friendship. Yes, dears, here I go with my poem. One minute. Page 40. Friendship. My friends and friendships vary. My friends and friendships vary. Some friends I keep safe and secure at my memory's sharp edge. No calls, no words, just silence. Silence that glows with warmth at each flicker of reverence. Silence that glows with warmth with each flicker of reverence. I won't pollute that sacred bond with mediation, communication that grows redundant. Yes, I have friends of a different sort. They overwhelm me with eloquence appropriate and sit upon my time, disarm me with demands, blurt out and bicker, yet cling to me tight through thick and thin. I have another group keeping me at distance, their surveillance and care 
blanket me as a fond object to possess. I do come across friendship for namesake, happening casually, taken casually. Yet, I value all this. All these bonding spring out from soils soaked and softened, stretching green, tended by cool, refreshing winds and mild showers. I value all this. These bondings spring out from soils soaked and softened, stretching green, tended by cool, refreshing winds and mild showers. Thank you, dear, especially Prasanna, because I popped in without any warning, but you let me in. Lucilla, you had been waiting for so long. We are eagerly waiting to hear you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful Never... Molly, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma Thank you. Now, Lucille, mic is yours. And um, that's nice that I could make it. I apologize that I've not been here from the beginning, but I'm happy to be here and that I'm happy that I could listen to some beautiful poems, at least to, to the end. My poem is uh, for my very first friend when I was a child um, and she is no more. Suddenly the sea opens beyond the torment of the clouds, beyond the swelling of sorrow. With the rain tonight, I tell you, and you are, once again, you, born in June. A year later, I, of July daughter, I never reached you as a child. Now I've caught up and surpassed you. Somewhere else, I stare at the Mekong. I breathe in a desert, a rainy season, Look at everything with your eyes, but maybe you already know everything from the other side of the stars. We will all be light and sound one day, singing of cells, dust of infinite, in joyous whirlwind of golden spiral of numbers dancing with the all. The instant is crumbling. I close my eyes to the broken verses cannot explain and yet the universe dances with our words in the great motion summing up our hopes beyond the empty space beyond the stars thank you prasanna thank you everybody happy friendship day happy friendship day Michelle. thanks for gracing the occasion at the end i mean that was splendid. I mean, what, what would I say? Ekta, would you like to say something? Ekta, uh, ma'am? Yes, definitely. I would uh, like to uh, thank everyone uh, here to grace this occasion of uh, Friendship Day and uh, present their beautiful verses uh, uh, with different essence of friendship. Uh, everybody was, uh, you know, took it to a different direction and uh, uh, presented their verse uh, uh, and narrated their verse in the best way possible. Uh, we heard about nature, kind of, you know, friendship with nature, or friendship with self, friendship with people, and how fair-minded uh, people and friends cannot be friends, and you know, different essence uh, we heard about. So uh, we, I just want to thank our uh, chief guest of uh, honor, uh, Dr. Pragya and uh, uh, Ms. Pankhodi Sinha uh, to grace the occasion with uh, their uh, wonderful verses. And I thank everyone and all the wonderful poets to present their words. And we look forward to listen to them in our uh, future of uh, the Fertile Brains uh, Poetic Sessions. So uh, we will be uh, really honored to welcome you all again. and. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you from the core of uh, our hearts. We, the team of the Fertile Brains, uh, just thank you for uh, presenting your wonderful poems. 
happy friendship stay to all <laughs> uh thank you ma'am thank you i think you could thank you uh, so much thank you I, before that i think uh, before winding up i think we could have a, a light uh, music session i think rene uh, kuntla murli has sir has requested uh, you know a uh, special request i think is uh, given i mean prasanna ji i would like to really uh, admire murli ji murli ji are you listening uh, i i just want to adore i we or most of us saw your video how you were you know teaching in the class so it was really adorable and uh, it was a uh, uh, very inspiring so please present your song or whatever you are going to present in the regional language so uh, please go ahead murli sir reni kutla murli sir is he there yeah he is there and this kindly unmute your mic sir sir kindly unmute your mic but out is ऑनर कॉल ओके मीन वाल वीडियो if i i think uh, if we shall go ahead with uh, now asking someone uh, anyone who would like to speak uh rupali ma'am Rupali ma'am, would you like to say something? I mean, anything? Uh, or Ranjana Sharan Sharma, uh, Ranjana Sharan Sinha, ma'am. <laughs> uh, honorable uh, member of. Hello, am I visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Prasanna, for. Uh, inviting me on this uh, great platform the fertile brace and you know once again very very happy friendship day to all of you or rather all of us you know friendship is the base of life oh i think right from the very beginning we become friends sometimes our parents are our friends sometimes our brothers and sisters are friends and friendship is alive right from the cradle to grave in one form or the other friendship 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 everywhere it is friendship yes what we need is to recognize and stay on friendship there are mythological references on friendship krishna sudama friendship or even we have heard of uh, two uh, friends between women or man and women or even two ma- men so friendship is all about caring and uh, sustaining and it will be again i repeat my line it would be no exaggeration if you say that uh, friendship sustains the entire world in one form or the other so happy friendship day to all of us thank you prasanna for the invite uh, anybody would like to come forward and uh, rene kuntla murli sir uh, kindly unmute your mic you are on the murli sir kindly unmute your mic 
Uh, it's uh, uh, we're running out of time. I think it is better to uh, wind up and uh, let me. Okay. Murli sir, are you listening? Okay. Hello, Murli sir. Okay, let's uh, stop the live stream.